Good morning, YouTube. Back in the wonderful state of Mississippi at the cabin. We are going to be doing some building today. We've got one of the walls, a little better light so you can see me. Here we go. We're going to be building um, a couple of interior walls one for the bedroom, one for the bathroom, and then we bought stuff to make proper steps because the cinder block steps that we made of course I didn't grade things down and they're a little wobbly getting in and out so we uh, gonna be putting up some stringers bought some two by sixes and we're gonna make actual steps into the cabin so it'll be a little bit more sturdy easier to get things in and out uh, right now I wouldn't <laughs> not try to get anything in the cabin uh, heavy it's a uh, pain in the butt um, usually what I end up doing is opening the door, kind of getting it to the cabin and just sliding it in. So, um, turning it around. You get the truck loaded down with lumber, ice chest, clothes are buried under the lumber somewhere. Got my table, we've got tools, we'll be working. The grass is literally to my knees. Um, and I'm a pretty tall guy, I'm like 6'1", so pretty tall. Problem we had last weekend, uh, really didn't shoot any footage of that, nothing spectacular. We just put up a tarpaulin on the inside, I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but my tractor, the deck, one of the spindles broke. Uh, well, actually the spindle didn't break but apparently when I bought it the um, pulley on the top had been completely rounded out burnt up the spindle we'll be replacing it probably tomorrow because everything that I needed to fix the deck but the spindle came in uh, my son will be supposed to bring that back up to me tomorrow so hopefully we'll have the spindle Tomorrow we can fix the deck so well, we can get some grass cut around here because it's getting a little wild. You can see the, the grass is up to the bottom of my truck. Sounds like my son may be coming down the road. He's meeting us out here. He's going to help me with uh, construction. And so we'll bring y'all back when we get ready to start doing the construction. Um, can't say it's going to be fun and exciting, real interesting, but we'll be building some walls. And just in case you didn't see one of the previous videos, these are the cinder block steps that I had made. Um, we'll be removing those and putting actual steps in wooden steps and making it a lot easier to go into the cabin. I will <clears throat> show you what we did inside last week. Essentially, oh, we put a tarpaulin up, uh, blocked off half of the cabin so we could cool it down a little bit better because it gets toasty warm in here during the day. Uh, basically at a point I don't want to pee in here. So with that, the air conditioners don't have to work as hard. It did help some, but it's not 100%. Still have to rough in the electrical and the plumbing so we can put insulation in. And I think we're going to go with the spray foam insulation, so that'll be quite helpful uh, with getting everything put in, or help with, with the temperature problem. I uh, was kind of half expecting to see the tarp coming down, but um, apparently the staples held.
turn on the AC so it can stay cool in here, especially while we're building. This is the area we're going to build today. Um, I'm going to get my wide angle lens out. But <clears throat> essentially, from the left side on the air conditioner is where the bedroom wall is going to start. It's going to come up 10 feet, and then we'll put a cross wall over here and do the bedroom bathroom is going to be back in this corner so we already got the pedestal sink for it uh, that'll be the the bathroom wall i'll bring you back when we start all right we're gonna take a walk down to the garden millie wants to show us her zucchini Take a look at the other plants that are growing there. So last week when we got here, looked at it, there was a squash. I'll try and put the picture up for it. A huge squash. Hey, peanut. Um, literally, as big as my hand went up my forearm. All right, Millie. Wow. <laughs> I'm not sure. Is it some sort of squash or is it a zucchini that's going in overdrive? Um, that's a good question. I'm not sure what, what it is. Not either. We didn't plant this. That was a surprise plant. That was a surprise plant? Yeah, but look at some of our other yellow squash. I know. Um, Cameron said she had planted. No, that's not from Cameron. That's not the money Cameron. This is from Cameron. These are white. Oh, um, uh, the, the albino cucumbers. Albino cucumbers. The stuff she planted over here, the beets and all, they didn't make it. They didn't make it. They the, didn't make it last week. So the snow peas look like they're coming up. The snow peas are coming up. The size of that squash. There's another snow peas right. Snow pea right here. That all is a monster. Six, all six of our corn plants made it. Well, that's cool. Because that storm had knocked them over last Yeah, week. yeah. We were here last week, so we weren't really sure. And a lot of our beans are, are coming up. We have flowers, but we don't have any beans yet. Cool. Well, hopefully it does better than the ones that uh, at the house. I'll have to get some video of the ones at the, the homestead. Uh -huh. At home, something ate all the leaves completely off of them. That's pollen. You're pollinating your corn. No, those are oh, well, when you hit, watch, hit, no, just no, tap it. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah. yeah. And then the, the, the dust. Yeah, that pollinates the corn. Okay. You really want it to happen when you have well, corn. All these yeah, that happens in the country. I'm coming around. The squash. Oh, there's some bees having fun in there. <laughs> yeah. The squash are monster. Yeah. Pull that back so I can put my hand by it and get some scale. Check out the squash. You got a you have a big hand. Too. I do have a big hand. Um, we'll pick them in a little little while. There's a long one over there, not quite as big. No, there's a couple of fat ones. Um, the yeah, see one back here. Yeah. We're messing up all of ah. the, the bees pollinating everything. Squash down there. And then, and the then these whole are, beans. Yeah, our, our green beans. Doing the old Native American trick of letting them grow up the the corn stalk. You see we've got a, a corn cob starting right there. I saw that. You got one starting over here. Corn stalks will give you one to two ears per stalk.
Yeah, sure is. Point it out. Point it out, baby. Mm -hmm. Point it out. Right here. Okay, yeah. Oh, look, there's two right here. One, two. Right. Um, probably uh, only one, maybe two of them will actually develop into a, uh, a corn cob. They, um, <clears throat> that's just the nature of them. You can end up with three or four, five years on a corn stalk, but chances of you actually getting that many years of corn are slim. Usually they're only going to put the energy in to form full cobs on a uh, too. At least that's how it was back when I was a kid, and we used to grow corn and pick corn. Spent many a uh, an August picking corn in the cornfields. Sokoho seems to be doing quite well. Not sure how well the camera's picking this up. Ryan was able to cut that back part down that was all overgrown a couple of weeks ago and then the pond's going to end up going back here. So I guess time for the fun now go start unloading the truck. Alright, I got a treat for you. You want to see some baby birds? I don't know if I can pick them up. I'm going to try. It's a mockingbird has a nest right here. I'm surprised she's not dive bombing me right now. Don't know if this is coming out or not. But she's got some little baby birds in there. Pretty cool. Alright, anybody want to come help me unload the truck? I just drove for two hours. It's been up since four. Loading the truck. Now I gotta unload it. Not what I consider fun. Only have seven thousand pounds of wood. Not that many, but it's gonna feel like it when I finish unloading. Wait for my son to get here with the wood. I'll get some of the other stuff. Let him help me. I'll put that guy to work. Hey guys, just thought I'd show y'all what my son and I have been up to. We have got the bedroom framed in and the half the bathroom, which is what shares a wall with the bathroom. We didn't do the other side. He had to leave. I'm about completely worn out, but uh, I've got to go work on my deck on my tractor. <coughs> the uh, well, I'll show you what, what's going on with that, but it's in rough shape. Uh, finally got the part in my brother and his wife for stopping at our house and picking up the part. Got delivered today. It was supposed to be delivered Wednesday, actually, but got delayed till today, so...
And I know some of y'all probably done construction, contracting. I know there's probably things we didn't do correctly, but it's a cabin. These walls and a place to cool off and then of course hopefully soon a place to potty, take a shower. That would be lovely. Still have this up. And that's gonna stay up for now. So uh can run the plumbing and the electrical and then get the place insulated. And then we'll take it down and start worrying about ceilings and walls and other such things. But I'm just happy we were able to get these two walls put up. Which bought regulation studs and guess what? The studs in this one are not regulation height so we wound up having to cut a little bit off of each stud to get it to fit. I'd actually bought enough 2x4 to put a double header at the top but um, didn't need, really need it. So uh, we put a 30 inch door in the hole right there. So should be good. Wife's happy. I'm happy. Son's happy. Even the dog's happy. Mugger, I'll take it. Right now we're on the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, which is the longest bridge over water in the world. Um, at one time it was actually the longest bridge. And where did that stop? Because they had to raise the drawbridge for a sailboat to go through. Just looking to see if we see the mast. Let's see. Get a little closer on it. Okay, it's closing. I guess we weren't able to catch the, there goes the sailboat over there. This is looking to the west. It's the west side of the lake. <clears throat> lake Pontchartrain is the largest marine estuary in Louisiana. It's, uh, it's a brackish water lake. This is the east side the lake. My dad and I used to actually shrimp in this lake. We pull a trawl behind us. You can only do on the east side of the lake, the causeway. The west side, you could not shrimp at all. And there goes the sailboat. I'm going to hand this off to Millie. Span we're on now is a southbound span. Um, 
it's actually the old bridge. At one point, this was a, a two-way traffic bridge, um, which was, I remember, kind of scary as a kid because cars were coming at you while you were going there, and there was no turnoff. Um, it's 26 miles long, I think, 24 miles long, something like that. But it's how we get across the lake or one of the ways. Um, other way would be to take Interstate 10 and go over the, the eastern side of the lake, the eastern edge, where it actually, right before it connects into Lake Bourne. If you go to the west, you actually, on the Interstate I 10, You'll actually travel around the lake and then Interstate 55 will bring you northward on the very western edge of the lake and over past Manshack and you can actually see the, the pass that goes through uh, from Lake Pontchartrain into Lake Moripal. And we'll have to shoot some footage of that one day and show y'all. Speed limit's normally 65 on here. Right now we're at zero. Oh, we're taking off. 